Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Breaking news out of Florida. We told you so. IT's happening. Three Florida men sentenced for conspiring to provide material support to ISIS. Gregory Hubbard, aka Jibreel, 54, of West Palm Beach, Florida, Dane Antony Christian, aka Shakur, 33, of Lake Park, Florida, and Darren Arnest Jackson, aka Daoud, 53, of West Palm Beach, were sentenced to prison today for conspiring to provide material support to the Islamic State of Iraq and Al Sham, ISIS, a designated foreign terrorist organization. Assistant Attorney General for National Security John C. Demers, U.S. Attorney Benjamin G. Greenberg for the Southern District of Florida, Special Agent in Charge Robert F. Lasky of the FBI's Miami Field Office, and members of the South Florida Joint Terrorism Task Force, JTTF, made the announcement after sentencing by U.S. District Judge Robin L. Rosenberg. According to the court docket, including the factual basis for the guilty pleas, Hubbard was arrested on July 21, 2016 at Miami International Airport where he had been driven by co-defendant Jackson for a scheduled flight to Berlin, Germany. From Berlin, Hubbard intended to travel to Syria to join ISIS. At various times during the conspiracy, which ran from approximately July 2015 until Hubbard's arrest, Hubbard and his co-defendants, Christian and Jackson, talked about their support for ISIS and jihad, including acts of terrorism committed by and attributed to ISIS and its supporters. During the conspiracy, Hubbard and his co-defendants and others, practiced shooting weapons multiple times in preparation for Hubbard traveling to Syria to join ISIS. Hubbard received a joint recommended sentence of 12 years in prison, to be followed by a lifetime of supervised release. Christian and Jackson who both pleaded guilty in 2017 and provided significant cooperation to the government, received sentences of 8 years in prison and 4 years in prison, respectively. Both were also sentenced to 5 years of supervised release. The FBI and JTTF investigated the case with assistance from the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives, Transportation Security Administration, Miami International Airport Police Department, Boca Raton, Florida, Police Department, Palm Beach Sheriff's Office, City of West Palm Beach Police Department, and Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. This case was prosecuted by Assistant U.S. Attorneys Karen E. Gilbert and Edward C. Nucci of the Southern District of Florida and trial attorney Larry Schneider of the National Security Division's Counterterrorism Section. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.